give Taylor play to Patrick. Okay. What do you mean? What are well, you talking when about? When did that sort of thing to Egypt? The, the thing is, is that, number one, who, who's Cleopatra? Just the new Well, Well, what I'm saying, Cleopatra was probably a Macedonian. Well, she was a Macedonian. From the Greece. Yeah. yeah. That's right. what I mean. Many people look like that. Go to Egypt. Well, I don't know about Elizabeth Taylor specifically, and, uh, uh, you know, very specifically, but I would dare to say that within the Nile Valley, within the Nile Quarter, within super Saharan Africa, there have always been people who were lighter skinned and straight ahead from 60,000 years ago. Always. <laughs> Something that dates from the Paleolithic time, 
it comes back to Africa, gets sloshed around in the Green Sahara, and then gets, you know, later on after desiccation, uh, winds up in different folks in different places. I think everyone here understands that concept. And so, you know, so then when you, so now we're talking about population history, population biology, and we're not talking about assigning things to races. contextualizing for it to mean something. Just finding some DNA, as some people are doing, uh, or have uh, in, in some mummies in Egypt, doesn't mean that the Egyptian population came from that place, wherever that place is. You know, if you found some L1 uh, Y chromosome, I mean, mitochondrial DNA, and, you know, some M78 or whatever, I mean, Ramses III is bearing the E1B1A, Y chromosome lineage, which is an old uh, African uh, lineage in the East. That doesn't mean wherever that lineage originated, that doesn't mean that his daddy came from there or his granddaddy came from there. That stuff was all mixed up in the Sahara and the Nile Valley. 